So everyone, please welcome Janine Webb. Hi. <laughs> Thank you very much, Joseph and Ara, um, for having us here and being recorded. This is weird. <laughs> so I'm, I can see a tiny version of myself here, or not very tiny. Um, before I get started, I want to um, hand out some fun things. Um, I have a journal out of San Diego, it's a Cardinera style journal, which is, um, if you've ever seen these, they're made in, a lot of times it started in Buenos Aires, and it's a form where it has a cardboard cover, it's handmade, you know, they're hand stitched, and they usually have um, totally different covers that are also handmade and hand painted. So um, I, I started that a couple of years ago. This is, I did Taco Cat Uno, this is going to be Taco Cat Uno Mas. So, um, so I want everyone to submit. Uh, poets, writers, yeah. So I'm now drifting out of the, the tiny person is no longer there, but um, please, please share these. Do you have any copies of Taco Cat? Um, I have, I don't actually, they're all, they've all been given away. Um, <laughs> So I don't have one. I don't have one with me. I do have the cat, um, <laughs> which is uh, that I got from Comic Con a couple days ago. <laughs> That's totally different. So as you know, Taco Cat is a palindrome. Very important. <laughs> All right. Please submit. I would love to get your work, and it's by basically by Halloween. So, <laughs> okay. All right, um, I'm going to read, and I, it, this will probably be a toss-up, and I'll probably end up reading some of these and not reading some of these. So, uh, <laughs> But I've, I've been told that this is, this is a thing that is okay to do. All right, uh, this poem is called Anna Caluthon. Um, Finished with our auguries, we packed up our styptic wands at last, Tools point by point into the Cordovan box, box of the iron preceptor. Here we will store them with the alleles that echo on the verso, vital and racked in every nap a broader wheel. Syringe with a jewel of red. Ah, look how the monument's owls rise up out of their amphorae before ephemerids can retire to the aqueducts and bins of the morn, folded in slack and no illuminated burning dump cut telephone lines. So far from the fora, we still dreamed in geometrics and linens, the hot dust gathered from battles two tolls away. What tents we pitched in stolen greaves, rusted and flat and wrung from the cracked shins of slaves. Piled sandbags. Suspended in specks under pumice in casts, we went moonless, trying to swallow wine spoiled by thoughts numismatic under our tongues, garlands graffitied by hoary weddings in houses of fawns, armored cars and scrims. What we knew of that sunk country was penny nails and the dew claws of small rumbling gods of volcanoes pulled shining out of ash, recycling plants. Oh, undecorated argosy, silver tissue and styrofoam. Oh, mummers, 3D and HD. Oh, Ariadne, winding up the kite, closing her unlined eyes, smelling the minotaur's sweat. Flat screen, refrigerator hum, breaking glass. <sighs> right before this, we had the shashu bao, or the bao eating competition. This was amazing. Did you, I don't know if anyone saw this right outside there, and it might still be <laughs> OK. Um, this poem's called Letter to a Friend. You're destined to be famous and you're brilliant and John Mont can do everyone's laundry. It will clean the basement out and the gutters, dust the stairs and make everyone fly in cookie tins. I am just some sort of parenthetical, an exclamation hanging out alone waiting for a specially spacious verb. As long as you pluck your eyelashes out, I'll be content with young poems which totter too close to rooftops and wander with forks near outlets and play with dice and slowly sinking paper boats. Yes, I am very serious. This is characteristic of the poem. May I offer you a discreet physics or just a hyena laugh when the hyena laugh is the opposite of discreet, but I think a lot more true. 
I'm done with dewiest dew, but I refuse to be done with stars or garters or colored beach glass. I refuse to fetishize alone. Like you, I did not come here to make to this blank to make an offering of whatever doves we have left. What am I offering? Only this. Okay, this poem. Okay, I'll try to remember everyone's name who's involved with this poem. This is a um, collaborative poem. Um, my friends uh, in Denver and uh, California, we did a collaborative um, collaborative poem where they sent me their lines, and I made this uh, I made this poem out of their lines, and it also has my lines too. Um, and I won't make a distinction, but um, the people who who sent their lines, um, Brian Ang, uh, Melissa Mack, uh, let's see, Aaron Costello, Marlon McAllister, um, Michael Flatt, Serena Chopra, and Melissa Mack. Okay. So this is called Please Press Firmly, and there's an epigraph which is by Laura Moriarty, and it says, space is made of pain, I mean paper. It's spring here for domestic and international use. It is because we say so. I love you, but you've died on several Ile Saint Marguerite. How do you bring back information from that place? The gins are going all out tonight. It was dinner in a movie. It was nail-biting cannibalism. Can your lover make your gender new? Get cauldron of intense love emotions until red as stupid came igloo. If you click through three linked Wikipedia pages and none mention Hitler, you win Kevin Bacon. A kind of regret that rears up releasing fire balloons over Shanghai. Poetry is always worth the cost in pentimento. This fell off my radar. And so, a leaf slips under a rock. An earthquake is the uncomfortable earth tugging at the corners of her sleep. Every asterisk is required, fine print, Fine print spun into star lines. Melts flags, lines, pulsion, dreaming, glare telling me, you keep pushing my love over the borderline but across state lines. I have not seen the photographs. I have heard the stories. I have imagined all of this. Teeth in a line of soft mush, not electric torque priority, bifurcation. Is that talismanic? Flat rate, faulty deer, king size, kidney drink, caligram, eek. And an inappropriate field has the following conditions. Kids clutching foam shields against yobs and neon flak vests. Clang went taxes and underneath the ohm, a riot, moving so sound inside the syllable. Tuning disor disorderly ambulatory redactor reached. An autumn light, a light sud copper in our hair. And the tide is a kind of circuit, is a marshaled army and others. Wind against almost anything, autumn. What relation, intrinsic, is to fall away? Recombinance. It resembles, at times, some kind of mistake. And everyone in the fucking car. Maddening more orchestra syllables slope, prepare poetically for the ever-present eschatology. I want to know infinity through the contents of my envelope. And find in red branching rivulets what will pretend is a map. Our ranunculus, wildcat, stripe, postal service, light, 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 that drinks up language. Okay. This poem is from Arm Cell. Um, it doesn't have a title. Um, it's, it's about the future, but it's not a futurist poem. Um, <laughs> or an accelerationist poem, I hope. Um, it seemed timely to read it. Now, I don't know, maybe it's always, maybe the future is always timely, I don't know. This thing just went out, but I don't know if that mattered. All right. Um. I think it's okay. I think it's still going. Okay. Um, in the future, the cities are burning. In the future, ask your DNA. In the future, Instead of working, we will de design brumous Zoom pods and poem denominations and slide rules and refractory dance studies. In the future, we go to a bar with a mega wave until the price signal no longer works at last call. 
In the future, I open this book by a friend. It is full of quadrilaterals and riot cops. The thing is, misery means factory. In the future, we are in the present. In the future, breaths hit blueprinting, seems indecently, seems contrasted, office aversion, early the galvanic radio bedsteads, part epitome, then laser relief. In the future, everyone will be imprisoned for 15 minutes for the theft of the Mona Lisa. In the future, dolphins will no longer own stocks or attack drones. In the future, our galoshes have galoshes. In the future, our Americas lack Americas. In the future, our terrorists have terrorists. In the future, cannibalistic life, dearly open, fought, six firecrackers, says firecrackers, high boat, already queer core. In the future, our time machines have rhyme machines. In the future, our dimes will have duende. In the future, I was walking up La Brea, having smiled on thoughts and dire wolves in my stinkers. In the future, I was reneging, no, regenerating with vigor. In the future, oh, the sorrow of earthworms and ash colonnades. In the future, oh, uprisings, hip hop, moat cushions, K-pop underwear. In the future, green fractal underbrush by the urban farm, plenary portraits of mosaic virus. In the future, technocratic maverick, parodic hand solos encased in platinum. In the future, beautiful bangles and angles of sexy nanotubes. In the future, we were womaning up and manning down. In the future, factories of lyrical change. In the future, bandos of sand dollars in the hole like a wingspan. In the future, the burning throes of the fictional past. In the future, we and we and we and we and the open mar markets traversed by limbed chili grifters. In the future, take it all off. In the future, oh, an Afropodes. In the future, the open wounds of futurists. In the future, the kindness of the enfant terrible. In the future, and then it's about uh, maybe 30 exclamation points in, a, in brackets, just with a period after that. Um, in the future, in the future, terminal awesome, sparkle fan sub, yo mama, turf quails, communizing lucid. In the future, homes we give each other underwater. In the future, astral catalepsy of the present. In the future, the foreclosure of the foreclosure of history. In history, the future of the present past. History, the moment we caught up to desire, we lacked the language for it. Okay, how much time have I got about? What? <laughs> I was supposed to say, oh, well. <laughs> I'm gonna read Moby Dick now, and that'll be cool. All right. I hope you're all ready for that. I hope you have the, the commie beer that we're doing. Mm. Okay, this is from the series, um, and it's a little bit new, so bear with me. Um, this series is called Postcards from Space in the Time of Riots. I've um, been writing these during times of riots um, when I cannot um, be at the protest or place where this is happening. Um, as a way to temporarily think about it. <laughs> um, okay, so this one is just called, it's just number one, all right. Dear universe, are you and I come hither or stay back? I can never tell anymore. <clears throat> quote, pain produces logic, which is very bad for you. This is a Frank O'Hara quote, some people will know. Universe, if you and I are expanding and contracting, you are both come hither and stay back at once. No wonder we are so confused by these masses, thermodynamics. A little heat death never hurt anyone, universe. All I want is boundless infinitude. Dear Janine, universal regret is probably worse than universal aggression. Universal regret is not nonviolent. Quoth universe, have you seen me? I have, I have thought so. I have the son, for example. He's great, and you can talk to him if you're Frank or Mayakovsky. For some reason, if you're James Wright, he's a Hungarian pissant. What's up with that? Whatevs. Also, I have books, clouds. I'm pretty sure I have jelly beans. Quasars, servals, orbits, rhythm and rhymes. 
very large cats, foxgloves, ghetto blasters, paraffin, griffonages of many types, gleesum waves. But versal man, I am horribly lonely, a flag waving bloody before the bull, but I am not the flag or the bull or the small bird that rides the bull's ears, picking at flies. Quoth universe, seriously, you are creeping me out, and I am a universe, I have seen a lot of creepitude. Can we go back to vastness? That is a topic with which I am fucking comfortable. I am also comfortable with fucking magnanimously. Fuck yeah, the universe dot tumblr dot com. Whoa, universe, I really and truly saw that shooting star this night, driving back on the highway, lit with the slick reflections of the port, cross-hatched really and verily with dusk and blue. It was not Prussian, but Thalo, more of a midnight of prom gowns that fabulous go to. Quoth universe, show shoddy, that's my night sky and all, and we all go, <laughs> go hard with our meteors. Is there a point here because I'm waiting? With my planetarium show, seriously, I got nebulas way hotter than that. Okay, quantum event, I hear you. But all I could do was pull pins out of my tongue, dreaming of some garyon or wyvern worm to take me someplace not ugsome in the path of the radio waves or just under the flutter of these low-flying planes, fuselages and tin types, tin beaten plates of the barrios, the universe. I'm going there soon, take me under your arm. Stop there with that one. That goes on long. <laughs> it's probably going to become something pretty long. Um, OK, I am going to try to read one of these, at least. This is, these are these poems, probably, I don't know if, if anyone can actually see these. But um, there, it's basically a whole page that I filled up with, with um, writing. I don't usually write longhand, but um, this is the way I made these. So they don't really have, I don't know how to read it, so I'm just going to kind of randomly uh, read it around. Um, okay. Smiley virus, unconcerned, the viral material, blood brand barrier, twerk reverie, but hideous ghost platelets. The same spare theatrical melodrama. Piracy, Phren phrenological bump, Whitman, adhesive, and a whale appear no bigger than a sprat. So quincunx shy vision, vision goomba, thousands of comatose ed Edisons on live stream, IDK. Adhesive and adamativist, adam ad adherist, free love, advocacy, uh, thousands of comatose Edisons on live stream, Lil Young Money Hegelians, etc., et ma have generally an expression, breakbeat galvanism. Ask Paracelsus about voodoo donuts, property violence, elixir of life, most irritating remix, remakes on SoundCloud, gentrified, annotated dog parks, secret scenes of foyer surveillance, Ray, Ray Harryhausen ex Walking Dead Down an Abbey, <laughs> the pale student of unhallowed art in first 1818 edition. Do we really need mention the necrosocial here doffing its rotted gothic hat? Have generally an expression of wildness and even madness, but there are moments when if one performs an act of kindness towards him or, it, or does any the most trifling service, hanging out with Polidari, not just a problem of octo division, vampire mirage, at this point there occurs a William Godwin shout out. Okay. <laughs> I've never tried to read that, so. Okay, um, I'm going to stop reading my poems, but if we have, I don't know, do we have time to read one more thing? Yes. Yes, okay. And you can hear me when I'm doing this, okay. All right. This is not me. I, I like the tradition of reading somebody who is not yourself at readings, you know, it's enjoyable. Um, this is Frank O'Hara's early writing, which is a fantastic book. Um, not that many people have this. It's not included in a lot of the, um, in the collected, as far as I know. Um, I'm just, I just wanted to read uh, this, um, which is Frank O'Hara's translation of Mallarmé's A Throw of the Dice Will Never Abolish Chance. It's, well, I'll read it. Okay. <clears throat> a throw of the dice. 
And I'm going to stick to what he does with the line breaks, which he takes out Mallarmé's line breaks, which is fascinating. Anyway. Um, a throw of the dice never, even when thrown in eternal circumstances in the midst of a wreck, be it that the abysm widened, displays furious under an inclination, a wing planing desperately its own in advance, fallen again from a difficulty in gaining flight and covering the outburst, skimming the tops of bounding waves very much interiorly, resumes the shadow plunged in the transparency by this alternative sail, even unto adapting when extended its yawning depth insomuch as the hulk of a ship leaning on one side or the other, the master outside ancient calculations wherein the maneuvre fought forgotten with age sprung forth in inferring long ago, he sees the bar of this conflagration at his feet of the unanimous horizon. Let it prepare itself, let it agitate and mingle in the fist which would grasp it as one menaces a destiny. And the winds with the unique number which cannot be of it, another mind, in order to hurl it in the tempest, throw back the sharp division, division thereof, and proudly pass, hesitates, all unkempt corpse, kept by the arm from the secret it withholds, rather than as a maniac to make the play in the name of the waves, invades the chief, head, flows like a subjected beard wreck that directs the man without ship, it matters not wherefore, vain ancestrally, to not open the clenched hand, above the useless head legacy and the disappearance to someone ambiguous, the ulterior immemorial demon, having from null countries induced the old man towards the supreme conjunction with probability. He is puerile shadow, caressed and polished, rendered and washed, made supple by the waves, and subtracted from the lost hard bones between the planks born of an inspiration, the sea, attempting by the old one, or he against the sea, a futile chance, betrothal, of which the sail of illusion sprung up against their obsession, like the phantom of a gesture, shall st stagger, totter, madness, shall not abolish, as if a simple insinuation of irony rolled round in all the silence, or precipitated roared in some near tempest of hilarity and horror, hovers around the abysm without scattering it, nor fleeing, and cradles the virgin token thereof, as if solitary forlorn feather, except that a midnight toke encounters or grazes it and immobilizes in the velvet, muffled by a noisy, sullen laugh, this rigid whiteness, derisive in opposition to the sky, too much not to march slightly, whomsoever bitter prince of the derelict, he caps himself, as with the heroic, irresistible, but contained by a small, virile intelligence and lightning, anxious, exp expiatory, and pubescent, mute laugh that if the lucid seniorial plume of vertigo invisible on the forehead scintillates then shadows a tiny shadowy stature standing in its siren torsion the time to slap by impatient ultimate bifurcated scales a mystery false rock evaporated mist which imposed a limitation to the infinite it was stellar issue number did it exist otherwise than scattered hallucination of agony did it begin did it cease gushing, gushing forth when denied and shut when appearing at length by some profusion spread forth in rarity did it figure itself evidence of the sum if not quite one it should be worse no more nor less but just in, as indifferently chance the fall the pen falls rhythmic surprise of the sinister to entomb itself in the primitive foams where one, from where long ago sprung forth their delirium to a summit tarnished in the identical neutrality of the abysm. Nothing of the memorable crisis or what or it was the accomplished event in view of all void results human shall have taken place an ordinary evolution, evolution pours forth the absence except the place, any inferior lapping whatsoever as if to disperse the empty act abruptly which otherwise by its falsehood would have founded the perdition in these latitudes of the vagueness wherein all reality dissolves except at the altitude perhaps as far as a place fuses with the beyond outside of the interest shown to it in general according to such and such an obliquity by such and such a declivity of fires towards this must be this a uh, septentrion, also north, a constellation, cold with forgetfulness and diffuse, 
not so much that it does not enumerate on some vacant and superior surface the successive shock siderly of a count total in formation, watching, doubting, rolling, shining, and meditating before stopping at some last point which sanctifies it, every thought gives forth the throw of the dice. <laughs>